Good afternoon, Adam here from Aqua Life Hub here with another episode on my 150 gallon reef tank. I know it's been a little while. I've uh, been a little slack on doing these videos. Uh, yeah, you know how it is. Get busy with other stuff. And, well, here we are today. And, you know, one of the benefits of putting it off for a little while is there's been more to discuss, more changes. Uh, most of it good. Although one not notable uh, bad change, which I will show you first, just to go ahead and get it out of the way. So let's slide around here. So, let's play a game of what's wrong with this coral. I think it's pretty obvious, you can tell. 75% uh, of it or so has bailed out. You can see the branches down on the bottom with the actual pop still in it. Go around the side. Oops. Yeah, unfortunately it's just sort of difficult at this angle. But there we go. That's what it's supposed to look like with the polyps. Here you can see that it's empty. It's just little white holes where the polyps used to be. So this is a pretty classic example of polyp bailout. Uh, never, it's happened about, I guess about a week ago, and it's the base has been turning white, obviously. Uh, you can see, you know, sort of the tips are turning whiter faster. But, you know, this is obviously not ideal, uh, but it's interesting just to be able to show it on video. This is what it looks like when a uh, SPS squirrel decides to die. I uh, never did figure out what happened to it. Uh, and luckily, I noticed it was happening, so I broke off, and you can see one piece back here that I glued down, and then this piece right here that I have managed to save that's doing fine. Uh, so hopefully we'll uh, be able to regrow the colony off of these. I mean, I'm obviously very disappointed. I don't know why it did that, but enough of the... The poor talk. Let's uh, get into the, the good stuff. As you can tell, the fish are doing really well. Uh, the fox face is hiding at the moment. He'll come out eventually. But everybody else is looking really, really good. The wrasses are growing. They're not really... You not know, the two Holocaust wrasses. But they uh, have been coexisting pretty peacefully. The Melanaris is starting to get a little bluer, which is means he's starting to grow a bit. He still has the tail spot, though. So, he's still definitely a baby. Oh, there he is. The fox face is very quickly becoming one of my favorite fish. Uh, I don't know why, he's probably just a little startled by the camera, but he's actually settled in quite well. Uh, he doesn't hide very much at all anymore. Uh, he was terrified when he was down in quarantine for the month. Uh, so I'm happy to see that he's sort of grown into his own in this tank. Uh, he's big friends with the, the tang. They spend most of their day together swimming around, so that's always been really fun to watch. And you know, other than the uh, Montipora digitata, everything else is going really well. You can see that this Pasilopora has, you know, it's a little hard to tell if you're not staying directly in front of it and you haven't been watching it every day, but uh, this coral has grown pretty quickly now. Uh, you, know, it's, you can see all the growth around the base, you can see It is firmly attached to the rock now. I'd have to pull pretty hard to get it off. Uh, so it's nice and settled in. Now this bird's nest, which was doing poorly for a little while. I don't know if you can see it on the video. But the base has turned nice and green again. It's growing quite a bit. You can see new growth on like every single tip. It is just a beautiful coral that you know just took a little longer to take off than I had expected, but now that it is, you know, it looks great. I'd be curious to see if it ever refills back in on this base where it sort of died off a little bit. Uh, right now, it's just sort of that ugly brown color. This Duncan coral has always looked really, really good. You know, it's got now three or four different 
new buds, new heads coming off of it. Oh, see there? There we are. Hey, fox face. It's such a beautiful fish. But, you know, this Duncan is growing slowly. I think part of that's just because I don't, I probably only uh, target feed him about once a week. Uh, it's a little bit of effort because the tangs and, or the tang and the wrasses in particular will grab the food out of their mouth and pick at them. And I, you know, I, I think that uh, I have to feed them all sort of at the same time, feed the fish, the corals at the same time. And yeah, it's just a good bit of effort, especially if I'm generally feeding during the work day. So if I fed, if I, you know, fed him directly more often, I expect that he'd grow a little faster, but he's still doing well. So the biggest disappointment in this tank for me, at least, has been the zoas. They've never really taken off. You can see some of them right here. They're really thin though, not very bright. There's a decent number of purple zoas climbing along the rock. So they are reproducing, but they're just not all that attractive. There's only one that's, or two really, the Pandoras right here, which are just don't pick up all that well under the sort of the more natural light, uh, but they look amazing under the, the blue lights. And then, these green ones are doing by far the best. Yes, they're getting a little overgrown by the Xenia that I have to cut back about once a week. Uh, but everyone else, you know, the grand or grandest Zoas, there's still only two or three of them, and I've had them for six months. And then, you know, these little guys, just always only about half open. I think part of it's just a lack of nutrients. I try to keep fairly low, fairly low nutrients, although I've been feeding more. Uh, so they're not really dying, but they're not really growing. This one, it's cool looking, but they're only half open most of the time. So the Zoas have been the biggest disappointment for me overall. You know, speaking of the opposite of disappointments, the uh, Montipora capricornis, you know, the Monty caps as they're called, they uh, have been growing amazing. You can see along the edges the new growth, uh, the lighter color. I mean, you know, since it's, you can see along most of the edges, showing a very consistent growth. And I'm extremely happy with how they've been doing. So if we get a better view from over here, you can see it's got four different shelves on the left side, and then it's climbing the rock on the right side, and it's got a really, really cool sort of curved up pattern or shape to it. And let's just you know, highlight the rest of them that we can see from here. The leather's doing fine. This uh, Acropora, at some point, I think this will be my favorite color, coral if it ever decides to grow. The green slimer. So it's maintained a really good color. Polyps always stay fully extended. It just hasn't grown. And this candy cane, on the other hand, has been growing like a weed. Which has been pretty cool. You know, it may very well be a lack of light because the candy cane is doing fantastic. This is not doing quite, you know, it's not growing as fast. So I expect that my par is probably low. And on my list of things to do is to rent a par meter and sort of see where I'm at because obviously eyeballing it just doesn't work. So I think that's sort of all I have today. I just wanted to check in. I haven't died, still working on the, the tank working on the website, and you know, this has been a fantastic project, really enjoying it. It's starting to look almost like a reef tank now. Uh, I have another couple months to go before this tank's been, you know, before this tank reaches a year old. I have an, a hope and an expectation that it'll start doing even better at the one year mark. So we'll see when we get there. But other than that, not much else to discuss. I'm not really adding anything new not really changing anything, just sort of letting it go, taking care of it, doing regular water changes, and uh, enjoying it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and if you have something in particular you want to know about the tank, feel free to ask me in the comment section. All right, thanks.